Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Sniffbot here. Hope you guys are all having a good day, and welcome to episode 15 of our Planet 2 franchise mode series. So, in the last video, I made an enclosure for the little koalas over here. Um, so, we did that. We also did some decorations for the, uh, basically Australia area, including this oasis over here, and also, like, a few just Australian trees and plants and stuff. Just to make it look a little bit more natural, I guess. So, yeah, we did all that. And t in today's video, we are making uh, the North American, like, shop slash dining area, as well as an enclosure for the Nine Banded Armadillo. This was suggested by Superbrand1234. Shout outs to them. And let's just get straight into it, shall we? Right, so, first things first, then, I've moved up to the uh, North America sign just so I can have like space over here so I'm probably going to put the armadillo enclosure around here and I've done the research it doesn't have to be that big so you only need two adults and you have a maximum of about eight offspring probably so that's only about 262 square meters so not that bad so <clears throat> hopefully I'll be able to find something good to use I'm going to try and make this a nice small habitat so I'll be doing that and I'll probably put them, I'll probably put the food court and then have the armadillos in the middle to be honest. So I might move these two up into the food court and then have some other shops and stuff as well. So like a gift shop, an information center and things like that. So I'm going to make a start on that now. I can figure out how I want to do this. So wait, hold on. That's not it. So if I go like seven meters apart, and if I align this to a grid, obviously I have to flatten it to the foundation and whatever. But yeah, I'll get into that now. So, here's what I got for the food court. So, I moved the uh, just little stools just outside the North American area and just put them inside the food area. So, obviously there's cosmic cow ice cream and there's gulpy slush. Yeah. Then we got cosmic cow milkshakes. I mean, it's not North American without a Mexican restaurant, really, or place. We got an information center here. And we got the good old hat shop over here. You look like you're ready to start a fight with someone. You're trying to beef, bro. Anyways, yeah, we got all that done. Added a few ATMs so custom flight businesses can get money out. I'll uh, just put the benches and pins around. And like I said, I was going to center the armadillo enclosure around the food court area. So we got more than enough space for them. I will have to obviously change the environment and stuff, but 
far. Uh, lastly, obviously I'm going to get this enclosure ready for the armadillos to move in, so that includes barriers and maybe also add into like rock work and things like that. So I will move on to that now and I'll see you again when it's done. And so here's what I've got so far. So there's a little waterfall here. I tried to terraform it with some of like the faux rocks. I'm not sure if I did too well, but it's my first time like properly trying with this. So hopefully it will end up looking alright. So yeah, as you can see, there's the water there. Oh, and they just arrived. So here we are. Here's our armadillos. Um, I also added a little rock and hid the food hole in there. So just to make it look a little bit more natural, I guess. And then here's their shelter over here. I'm hoping it's big enough. No, it's not. Great. And I also got to do some terrain editing, adding in a few plants. So I will try and fix the shelter and I will get on to the rest of that now. And here we go. So this is the armadillo enclosure, fully done. So I've added some like plants from the 1.12 update as well as a few of the older ones like the barrel cactus and the azalea, but it's mainly just the blue stem. Um, I also, I managed to get the shelter fixed and by the shelter fixed, I mean I added in a burrow over here and this, they still didn't the shelter for some reason so yeah but we've at least we've actually got shelter now so and I also added in some enrichment I managed to get before that research so that includes the ball the herb marker the barrel feeder and the termite now and luckily they all have enough space so we'll be able to get quite a few armadillos in here as long as we have space, so that's good. And I've also added this to the Timble work zone, since, I mean, I didn't really want to get another work zone behind the food court. So that's that. So the last thing I'm gonna do for this video is do the education and donation facilities over here. And I'm also going to add some North American themed like plants and decorations around. So I will get into that now. Okay, before I do, I just wanted to mention that we have wolf cubs now. So we can sort of start a pack, I guess. So that's cool. Anyways, as I was going to do, let's get into the decorations.
And that is all the new decorations done. So, it's mainly just American plants, well, North American plants, so... It's, this part around the timber was mainly just tiger and tundra plants, and then I did this more like... I guess more sort of temperate, but also still a few tundra and tiger. So, yeah, that's that. And then in terms of statues, I had a pack of wolves and a bison, uh, a pronghorn and so over there, and two bears here. And I also managed to finish up the uh, just education and donation facilities for the armadillos. And they seem like, from what I've seen so far, they are starting to make some money. I just got to see where people like go to on this side of the enclosure, so I can move this one. It's just kind of like a placeholder for it, I guess. So, yeah. But anyways guys, that's just about going to do it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, consider liking and subscribing. It really helped me out, and it will let you guys be the first to know what's going on with the channel. Comment down below as well. I want to know what animal you guys want to see next in the series, and if you do, it keeps the series going, so I'd appreciate it if you could. So, that's that. Um, finally, join my Discord server and follow my socials. I'll leave a link to all of them down in the descriptions, and it can help you notify whenever I upload a video. So, with all that out of the way, I'll see you guys in the next one, and goodbye. Okay, I pull up, hop out at the